We do have a little compilation of some of your fine moments here. Couldn't we get the good stuff in? There isn't any. No. We had a. You oh. won't believe the amount of trouble we get to to look for good stuff, and we're, you know this is this is all we've been able to find. However, it's a little a little ballsy tribute to say goodbye properly. Here's Lynn Bowles. Morning, morning. You all right? Oh, very well. Mm. Has Jeremy Paxman upset you? Oh, yes, he has. <laughs> Frankly, yes, he has, Mark. Oh, dear, he's got all nationalistic here. After criticising the work of Robert Burns? Sentimental doggerel. <laughs> Barking up the wrong tree, says Mark. Aye, hang on. <laughs> well done, well done. And, uh, Do you not think it's sentimental doggerel, then? No, of course it <laughs> <laughs> you. Lucky you're a woman. <laughs> really? I've never noticed no. that round here. <laughs> <laughs> you tell me it's all right. You don't mind a little pain. You say you just want me to take you for a drive. Uh, Mo says, I, was work- I used to work in local education. There was a lad in our books, lived in Bakewell, called Norman. Norman Conquest. No, no, no. And he had a sister called Persephone. Persephone. Wouldn't you rather be called Persephone well, I Bowles? Was, I was just thinking that, yes. We could call you Purse for short. <laughs> or phony. <laughs> or Crystal. Baby, you can drive my car. Yes, I'm gonna be a star. There's Elaine cha, cha, Page. Cha. No, it's an Olay, not oh. a cha cha cha. Oh. What was that? It's the ship's bell again, I think. What's causing it? <laughs> What's causing it? <laughs> What's going we on? We must be down for off London. For the bell tolls. <laughs> Ask not. Ask for not. The it tolls for thee. It tolls for thee. What is it? It's one of these. Look, hang on. Oh, you it's... Oh, that? I no, that, see. That that. It's uh, one of the jack ends, yeah. so to speak. An XLR, so I think Same to you. Yeah. And that hits the thingy, and that makes the noise. <laughs> oh, it's all very technical here. The wreck of the Hesperus in here. <laughs> Eight free BBC channels. I'm not on any of them. And what about you, Bob? No, there is a reason for that. <laughs> Which I went out to your little cubby hole out there, yes, your yes. palatial suite of offices. The phone room, everyone. And uh, <laughs> you had turned into a six foot tall man with shaven blonde hair and bottle end glasses. <laughs> the tablets, you see, they just don't work properly anymore. Who's gonna drive you home tonight? Guildford, A3, I think I'm right in saying, Lynn? I think you would be, yes. <laughs> See? It's not as easy your it's... job, isn't it? I could do that. <laughs> Sheffield. Yorkshire. <laughs> Next. M62. Close. M6. Yeah, kind of. Keep in there. I haven't even got a map in front of Stick me. Stick with a day job, mate. What's oh, that? <laughs> I'm Lynn on the loose. I'm outside on the banks of the River Clyde. If you come down to the BBC at the Quay, you will see a Sandown class mine hunter. It's HMS Banger. I am standing on the gangplank. I'm going up the gangplank. You, hopefully you can hear me. My light and fairy-like steps. Walking up the gangplank. What, what are you making that noise with? It's not <laughs> I your think feet. It's me. It's me. Are you, are you jumping up and down? Well, I'm, tr- I'm trying to paint the picture here. Oh, right. Yeah, audio, audio soundscapes. <laughs> yes, exactly. So I get to the top of the gangplank and obviously I have to say, permission to come aboard, sir. It's going to be a grand day, Ken. I cannot wait for it. I thought that was the police whistle sounding when you, when you were approaching up the gangplank. They were calling the cops. But no, obviously they're going to let you aboard. I can't wait. It sounds fantastic. Lynn on the loose. Or as I shall now call her, Loose Bowls. Yes, we are live from Wimbledon this morning. Outside, because we wouldn't allow her inside, is Lynn Bowles, who's out doing a little bit of uh, pressing of flesh, I believe. Is that right, Lynn? I certainly am, Ken. It's Lonesome Lynn out by the front gate. They're just letting some folk in, but I'm in a holding pen. An alarm has just gone off. What's going to happen next, Ken? <laughs> what have you done? I what, don't know, what Ken. What have you I, stolen? I, ju- I just walked into something. Oh, there are police coming towards me. Did anyway, you? speak to you later. She tried to lift some strawberries. That's what it is. I'm afraid I have a small announcement to make, Ken. Stand back. Come on, pull yourself together. I'm afraid I'm going to be leaving Radio 2. <gasps> well, we are actually devastated, all of us, to hear this news. We are. We'll get over it, of course. Well, of course you will. But, I mean, it's Radio uh, 2, no, then. It, it, we still haven't got over it. 
Oh, Honestly, no, what have you on, done to us? You're going to be us? fine. You're going to be fine. I'm not sure about that at I'm all. Like therapy, I'm, just, yeah. I'm just going to have to sort of throw myself on some dear old standbys like. Oh, I'll always think of you. Oh, thanks. Whenever Kate. I hear that, or. Oh, well, that's better. I Always brings it. me to mind, doesn't yes, it? Yes, we are. Go- we're going to miss you terribly from BBC Radio Two, and I'm going to miss you as well because mm. in ev- anybody who leaves uh, a company, a firm, a so-called corporation, nope. um, knows that it's never about the job. In the end, it's not about the job. It's about the people you work with, and the best thing about Radio Two, it's it's not just about the people I work with. It's about the people who listened as well. Yes, and absolutely. who contributed, and who have shown how much they appreciated the work I've done and I have been shocked and stunned by that and I am very, very grateful to everyone I've worked with and to everyone who's listening. Oh, stop it now. Dear old Lynn Bowles, she's been fabulous but she's not lost entirely to us. Lynn Bowles on Sunday on BBC Radio Wales. Available on the BBC iPlayer anywhere in the country so we'll be able to hear you Sunday afternoons. Two till four. Do you tune in? We will. We will. Have you got my date in for the first guest? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, I'll, I'll just make a note. Yes, yes. Yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll wait for the call. <laughs> Lynn, it's been absolutely delightful for 18 years. Can't work out how I'm going to get on without you, but I'll just have to, won't I? You're Scottish. You're right. brave. Right. You'll manage it. Go on with it. Lynn, bonne chance. Thank you.